Good morning, tubers. It's raining in the greenhouse. Pretty humid in here. Uh, today we begin to assemble the new wicking growing systems that kind of resemble uh, the concept from the auto pot. Uh, and uh, sometime this weekend, tonight it's going to get really cold, but uh, tomorrow I will be filling those and probably planting a few tomato plants in there. But today, we put these together. Or at least we start to. Right now I'm working on the uh, the float valve system that'll allow the water to rise and fall and give it a drying system similar to the what the auto valve does but it's, uh, it's a lot more primitive and it's not going to um, give each plant their individual um, needs it's going to give a whole rail a need the needs and hopefully uh, hopefully it'll do all right i don't know i've seen somebody do something similar uh but not quite to this scale seems like everything we do in this greenhouse seems like the scale is uh raised up a bit but anyway here's what we got all right what i've done is i've this is just a test bucket this is not going to be my reservoir for the the, the system down there but I needed something to fill my float valve bucket that's my fill bucket there and what I've got is I put in here I don't know if you can see it in the bottom I've got a little hole with a compression fitting um, plumbing compression fitting coming out and then I've run some quarter inch tubing it's actually the same tubing I use for airline back there in the uh, aquaponics setup. And I have it coming into a float valve into this bucket. And what we're going to do is going to let this fill up. And you can see it's, it's filling. Once it gets to a certain level, this will come up and that will stop. I've made this so that we can turn it to a different level so that it drains at just the right level to fill the gutters. And once the gutters are full, I don't know what, I've got this adjusted right. And that'll start draining and flooding and that's the idea anyway. So I'll bring you along as I get the thing put together and we'll see how it works. Sorry for the fan noise, but believe it or not, it's probably 85 in here and it's 34 out there, cold out there. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and connect each of these sections. I was going to leave it free floating, but I'm going to go ahead and connect it with uh, some 2x4s on the outside to accommodate the joints. You'll see that these joints are pretty thick. And I have to make sure that we're able to um, get it in between each one of these boards. So I'm going to come on the outside of each piece with another 2x4. And i got to get those painted um, to get them all on there. But yeah, I, I'm wearing shorts. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yep. Warm in here. I'll catch you up in a little bit. All right, what I'm doing now is I bought this half-inch uh, dowel blue board. It's an insulating foam board. Um, got this idea from Brent, C3 Voyage. Uh, what it does is it allows us to raise the level inside the tracks here to where the gutter is flush with the top so it doesn't sit down too far because you want that gutter to be up level with this since the buckets 
are going to have a net cup sticking out the bottom of it about that far so it sits down in the solution. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do it all the way down. I've still got this one to do. And once I do that, I'm going to attach all these together and start leveling it out. Uh, and we'll put some water in it, see how level we are. We're getting close to being ready to put buckets on it. Exciting. Anyway, this is how I did this here. I just laid a 2x4 on top. And I take a knife and cut it on the side. Just make sure I got about... Four inches. That's about three and three quarter inches. About each one of these pieces doesn't matter as long as it's able to fit between there and raise the level up one half inch because that's how far that gutter sits below the rim of these troughs or. Uh, traces or whatever you want to call them anyway stands <laughs> whatever all right well i hope you can hear this these fans are running still it's getting pretty toasty in here but i've got water in here and i've got it level all the way down I don't know if you can see all that or not, but um, you can see the water is flowing in, and I've got a half inch pipe all the way in, and you can see my float valve is working, it's filling back up again. This is just temporary. I will have a large, probably 30 to 50 gallon tank here uh, that will service several of these. And the premise is, or the uh, premise is that it'll flow from that into these and each one of these will fill 30 foot of gutter, which will service I don't know maybe 25 containers up and down that thing this one's for peppers and the, uh, the pots will look like well let me go show you all right this is what a pot one of the pots will look like you can see there's water in the bottom of the cup It's going to be a little more than that because this thing is still filling. Um, but that's what the pot's going to look like. It's going to have a it's a three inch net cup, and it'll wick up through that into the medium and feed the plant. God bless, go plant some dirt. We'll see you next time.